This is big and small travel. We are in Rila in Bulgaria. We are in Bulgaria again. If you haven't seen our Sofia video. But this time we discovered a great hike. Rila is a mountain range with seven lakes. We're exploring the cultural capital of Plovdiv. Plovdiv has been recognized as the sixth oldest city in the world and one of the oldest in Europe. Rome gets a lot of attention as being one of the oldest in the world, but Plovdiv is actually older. We decided to base ourselves in Plovdiv for a few weeks because we were intrigued by its rich blend of cultures, its hills, and the fact that it has the longest pedestrian zone in Europe. We do love walking. We used this town near Rila Lakes as a base, and it was called... Bogov. Bogov. Grad. Grad. Bogov. Bogov. Grad. Grad. <laughs> now the, the whole thing? <laughs> we stayed in this town, used it as a base for Rila Lakes, discovered another hike, not expect us for Bulgaria. It's quite a surprise. <laughs> Plovdiv is certainly not the most beautiful part of Bulgaria. We'll get there when we head to Rila. Plovdiv is a town that you only need a day or two to see the historical highlights. But we unfortunately spent too long there. We are in Plovdiv. Plovdiv is a town that has seven hills, but in reality only has six hills. This is Nebet Tep. It literally means, it's a Turkish uh, word, Turkish name, means guardian hill. Let's go take a look at it. Plovdiv is known as the city of seven hills. There's only six, as we say, Marko Tep, or Marko Hill was the seventh one. It was destroyed. And today, the pavement for the streets of Plovdiv have been made using the hill's rocks. Plovdiv has a pretty large selection of cafes and restaurants, especially along the main pedestrian street. Some of the best food and beer can be found in the trap. Skaptabara is popular for their selection of burgers and local beer, but we thought it was a bit pricey there. Beer seems to be the popular thing there. We tried it. We still prefer wine. Street art is a defining feature of the town. You can find it in various spots, especially in the trap district and along the main central pedestrian area. There's a cafe dedicated to the show Friends. Rome may actually be a younger town, but you'll still see remnants of the Roman Empire dotted throughout Plovdiv. Uh, looking for the ancient theater from the Romans. Those damn Romans. At 1.8 kilometers, Plovdiv has the longest pedestrian zone in Europe. Hey, we are headed up to the Alyosha monument 
at the top of Plovdiv to find a magnificent view of the town. Hopefully. Woohoo! The Alyosha Monument is a 36-foot statue of a Russian soldier that towers over all of Plovdiv. The depicted soldier only recently died in 2013 at the age of 91. We've reached the top in today's Unification Day here in Bulgaria. So an even more special day for us to be here. Beautiful views. We recommend taking a stroll through the garden of Tsar Simeon. There we stumbled upon the singing fountains at night, which were just okay. They're pretty. I don't know. <laughs> we are heading up Youth Hill. This is the highest hill in Plovdiv. And this seems to be a path. There's arrows going up, so we're going to follow them. See? Yes. Da. <laughs> Always taking the more difficult path. Let's go to the top. So we've made it to the top of Youth Hill, which is probably the best view in Plovdiv. Now we recommend going the alternate route, which requires a little bit of climbing rocks. We are in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. You see the mosque behind me? Now let's have some Turkish coffee at the mosque. Okay, Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee is quite different as you can see. Take a look at it here. It's unfiltered coffee. It's very finely unfiltered coffee. Sometimes added with sugar. I don't know if she included sugar or not. We'll see. And almost dense. It's made with um, finely ground coffee beans. It's, uh, it's not my favorite. It kind of actually reminds me of instant coffee. What? <laughs> Let's take a try. And this is Turkish coffee. What may look like an abandoned building may be a historical site. In general though, food is pretty well priced, even at the fancy Ramada Hotel restaurant at the end of the pedestrian street. Next up is the Seven Rila Lakes hike. We're on a chairlift. And we are, we just came back from a hike. But you're gonna see a video where we do the whole hike. So let's get to it. Yes. You can make this as a day trip from Sofia, which we visited earlier, or a smaller town which we stayed in called Plagovgrad. The toughest part is finding transportation to the hike. Luckily, our host, Martin, from Blagovgrad, offered to be our excellent guide. Seven Rila Lakes. I don't know how cold it's going to be there, so... Hey, good morning. Hey. Thanks again for doing it, man. Huh? No problem. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> he also got us out on the trail early in the day to beat the crowds. This is not small skid.
We're getting on the ski lift. 18 lev per person round trip, which is about $11 right now. Yeah. We got on the chairlift without the safety bar. Now we were heading up the hill and getting a little panicky, almost freaking out. No. We kept going up and up. We eventually realized we could bring down the bar ourselves, the safety bar, but it was a large majority of the ride. We, can you believe we survived this? <laughs> like kidney, the first one that we will see. <gasps> then, if you want, you can go up all the way up to this ridge up there. You see it to the top? So you can see the lake uh, Okoto called the eye and the smallest lake which is one of the the, the most beautiful uh, up in the in the mountain from here you can see all the seven lakes we're going up kidney lake not liver not liver the kidney you can live without the Seven Rila Lakes hike includes some pretty spectacular views of a group of glacial lakes in the Rila Mountains. I don't think you need hiking poles, but you can use them if you want. You can see there's like a lot of boulders, so you have to really negotiate the rocks, but I think it makes it a little more exciting. Okay. It's a perfect day hike. It took us about five hours with lots of stops and picture taking and of course filming. But this hike is variable. You can do as much or as little as you want. where you can actually see all seven lakes. Um, I'm not going to know which all of them are. <laughs> so, I think this them? is the tier. This is the tier, maybe? I think so, yeah. And then this one is clearly the kidney one. This is not something I've really experienced since Machu Picchu in Peru. More just seeing the clouds being up this high, 2,500 meters seeing the fog and clouds roll up, the snowpack on the mountain. It, is, it really is quite spectacular the, the and a very awesome hike. You go pretty high up and um, it's beautiful. And you see all the lakes behind me here. It's stunning. We did not expect this for Bulgaria. It's quite a surprise. <laughs> Um, three, four, five, six. There's four kind of all bunched together. And I actually see the sort of spiritual group, we'll call them, <laughs> um, gathering down there. Thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying our adventures in the Balkans. 
and don't forget to click the bell so you get all of our updates. See you again. Bye.